Hi friends. So I am sitting doing a little bit of last minute garden planning. And I think I've mentioned before, I am not a big planner when it comes to my garden. I do plan uh, what I want to plant, but I don't do very well at planning where I'm going to plant it exactly. Now what I'm doing right now is looking at these three beds out the front here. And yes, I would like to paint those beds. I don't know if and when that's going to happen. We'll have to see whether that gets to the top of the priority list. But I'm going to just sit here for a minute and think and plan and try and write down some ideas of what exactly I want to go in those beds. I do have a few ideas. I know I want some herbs in there. I know I want some flowers in there. Um, but I need to get a little bit more specific. I want some leafy greens in there, but I, I want to nail that down a bit. So that's my plan. Okay, so I have a little kind of rough plan drawn out. And I think I'm going to basically do some lower growing things around the outside like the lettuce some sweet alice it's also called alyssum that i really like around the edges some chamomile really hoping that my chamomile would take the ones i did inside earlier did not um <laughs> is that molly i don't know if you can see this she's laying over there under that tree upside down with her legs in the air Half in the shade, half in the sun. Okay, so there's this beautiful little purple um, alyssum, which I know is sweet Alice. And I got this, these mixed flowers, pollinator mix. So I might put some of those. Then the, the pansies will be nice, just um, low down around the edges. Is there a low growing one? And I might do some chard. Now I'm wondering if this, this is what we would call silver beet because it kind of looks the same, only this one has a red stem. But I think you can get, I'll have to look that up, see if that's the same as silver beet. Some spinach again. So like I'll put this, those towards the front and then some bigger herbs growing behind that and then some flowers that will then that'll be nice because it'll be visible from the road so that's kind of what i'm thinking um i am going to over plant chamomile chamomile <laughs> my husband called me the other day he's like what did you say fun fact i just googled it i googled swiss chard and it is the same thing as silver beet which i grew all the time in Australia in our gardens we always had silver beet growing and apparently it's the same thing as Swiss chard and I keep hearing Swiss chard and chard and things like that and it's the exact same thing so there you go that is interesting I've been wondering what it was <laughs> now I know we are going to plant some flowers but also some um, veggies and some herbs Gracie wants to join in so we're going to put um, at the back of the beds and around the edges, we'll put lettuce and radishes, some of the low gr growing things around the circumference, and then the, the low flowers around the edges, and then the taller flowers kind of like in the middle with flowers? some herbs. Well, we might do this one separately in a pot. See how they've got, cool, they've planted the these three into layers. So Gracie's looking at this one. She liked the look of that. And I'm thinking I might try and, I've got a pot out the back. We can maybe try and do that and plant the, plant them in layers like that and just have it out here in the veranda. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. We'll see if we can do that. But Mama, why is there this one? What is? They're what? three different oh. flowers, yeah. Oh. And they're the tall ones. Oh. So we'll see how that goes. But that way, so the, I've got some sage and marjoram that I'm going to put in here. I'd also like some parsley out here and um, thyme. I use, I've got some thyme growing out the back in, already started in the trays. 
and some parsley, but the parsley was looking a little bit sad. So I might have to do some, sow some more parsley. Maybe we'll direct sow it and see how that goes. Um, but I do use parsley a lot. I use thyme a lot in cooking and I wanna be able to just have this sort of as a kitchen garden and run out and grab things quickly as I'm cooking is my plan because the kitchen's right there. So what do you think? Remember we had those in Australia? We did. We grew zinnias in Australia are and we grew cosmos. Mama, are they Mama. I think they are. Mama. We put them in my cake. Yep. In Australia we grew those at Sweet Alice. Yeah. It's pretty, isn't it? We have Sweet Alice like... right. Mama! Mommy! What? That's like in Sweet Alice the book. Oh, it's Miss Rumpheus? Yeah. Yes, it is we like Miss Rumpheus. Some lupines. Lupines. We'll have to see if we can grow some. Should you like that? Yeah. All right, let's see if we can do I, that. I... Alrighty, we are gonna plant out some seeds in these cute little beds. Now I haven't, um, these are on seed tape, which I haven't actually used seed tape before, but you can see the little itty bitty seeds in here and they're supposed to help make it easier when you're planting really small seeds like lettuce and carrots and and things like that so i don't know we'll try it and see how we go We're just going to use these little paddle pop sticks to write our labels. grow some carrots on a seed tape and some spinach. Okay, so now we're gonna do some pansies along the front in the middle row. Beautiful purple sweet Alice is next. Kind of spread them, don't put them in the one spot. Kind of spread them. Now we're going to do some flowers, just mixed pollinators and flowers in the middle of the beds. Not in a heap yet, all around. Hey, the sun is going down, but we, as you can see by all the little paddle pop sticks that are poking up all over the place, we have planted a whole heap. I just went and got some parsley seeds from the mud room. I want to put more of that in. And I got these little itty bitty thyme plants from my seedlings. I'm going to put a few of those in, just a couple and water it in and we're almost done these beds so that's pretty exciting we got this um straw old hay second hand right just old and we're just putting it real thin so that the seeds can still come up but it'll offer some cover for the soil i cannot wait i cannot wait for these to come up i'm so excited so i'm gonna 
I'm having a leaky hose problem. I was trying to water these in and the um, the hose I was using is not cooperating. So I'll see if I can fix that. But we're going to cover them all lightly with this hay and water them in. Is this a herb garden or flower? Um, there's herbs. There's flowers, there's some green leafy vegetables. Okay, so look at that. Three beautiful, well, they will be beautiful. They're not beautiful yet. They're brimming with potential. So soon, hopefully we'll have a good germination rate and they'll be popping soon. I don't know. I haven't done it like this before. I have not done like a, now obviously there is that little bit baby time I put in there, but everything else is from seed. So let's hope and pray for a good germination rate. That's these front beds done. So thanks for being with me today as I potter around and think about planning and actually write something on paper. That's not something I've done before. So I really need to think about doing that for the backyard as well. I think forcing myself to kind of think ahead on those things is probably a good idea. Alrighty guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks for being here.